I'm here with Olga Algagirova, who is uh, with the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, as she is the Executive Secretary. Um, so your organization uh, is the Economic Commission for Europe, and tell me a little bit about the situation in the region around gender equality and the economy. Thank you for the good question. Uh, in the UNEC region, we have 56 member states, and these are the European Union, where the situation is different, and then we have Eastern Europe, we have ex-Soviet Union, we have the Balkans, but we have also the North America, we have the United States and Canada, and we have Israel and Switzerland. So, quite complex region from point of view of uh, gender equality. However, uh, we are not happy because, of course, the uh, proportion of women and men in the region is uh, different from other regions. Uh, we have more women. Uh, it's the global trend, but we have 60% of women. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, the access for women to the labor market is also different. But what is the most serious, I give you one example. We have a gender pay gap that is 18.2%. It means that for each dollar and earned by the men, the women get just 81.2 cents. Uh, it means uh, it, it's not just not only from the salary point of view, but also women going to, re to be retired, they are more exposed to the risk of poverty. So the progress, how to bring the equality or the equal pay uh, is very slow and if we continue with the current rate we will be equal in more than 100 years and our target is uh, namely target uh, SDG target 8.5 is to do it within 12 years so we have a lot to do in our region so tell me a little bit about what the implications are of this gender pay gap that you said. What, what does this really mean for society in the long term? If we maintain the status quo, what will happen? Well, we all know that uh, equality, not only equal pay, uh, contribute to economic growth, uh, contribute to the general prosperity in the society. So, and we cannot reach Agenda 2030 without equality, including equal pay. Great. Um, so, as you know, SDG 5 is about attaining gender equality. And we know the focus of the Spotlight Initiative is on eliminating violence against women and girls, which is a central part of SDG 5. Why is this so important that we focus on this issue, and why do you think it's so central to the SDGs? Of course, violence is not acceptable in all its forms. Uh, violence is not only violating individual human rights, but also, again, uh, prohibiting contribution of women to the society, to the economic growth. So we have to fight against violation against women and girls in all the forms. Uh, I personally support a lot initiative of Secretary General of the United Nations also uh, in any forms of sexual harassment. We should lead as an example at the United Nations uh, so we work uh, together against this. Uh, UNEC is, is economic commission so we don't have uh, the direct mandate to fight against violence. However, uh, we contribute by uh, Working, may, we, for instance, what we do is uh, we do market assessments of our member states and also access uh, of women to the market, to the financial services, to labor market. Uh, I can give you an example. Last month we had a workshop for women in Kazakhstan uh, because they are more employed in traditional crafts uh, so that they can access the international trade. And we believe that if women have access to technologies, to IT, to science, uh, if we have more engineers, more leaders, 
uh, that women work, uh, they are not only uh, economically empowered, but there is also less violence. I think that's a tremendously powerful statement that you just made, and I often, I often believe that we underestimate the capacities of women living in, especially in the global south, but in, in under-resourced countries around the world. They have tremendous capacities to be leaders in the tech field, in driving international economies. And I think with, with female leaders like you in the UN system, I feel really confident that we'll get there. I want to very much appreciate your time this morning and for joining me in the Spotlight Studio and setting a great, uh, a great first interview for the day. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best with this initiative that is great and thank you for inviting me. Have a good morning, everybody.